<clears throat> What's the do YouTube? I'm back with another reaction video. Uh, today we got a reaction. Uh, obviously, nigga. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Bro, I gotta stop cussing too. First two minutes, I gotta stop cussing too. Okay. Anyway, we got an Alabama rapper shot a music video at his ops grandma, grandparents' house before killing them. Shit, man. If this is true, man, this shit is crazy. The world, I don't know what the world has come to. Shit. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, bro. On the road to 1K, finna hit it, bro. Come on, bro. We like eight, 80 subscribers away, bro. No cap. Please hit the subscribe button. This shit, 21 minutes. I'm not doing no pausing. Nobody wins when the family feels. Why is D count you a sad nigga? It's a scientific proven fact. You run behind the law. Like, it's way back in your blood. This shit stole your granddad, and your granddad know the law. Like, it's a scientific proven fact. It's shit in the lab right now. Hey, man, your granddad and your great 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 granddad, were, he read it on the dinosaur. Get your ass say he read it on the dinosaur. <laughs> the Lewis family and their neighbors lost incredible leaders of their community that day. Mobile police say Tony was shot several times, but they still don't know how Leela died and their home was burnt to the ground. Uh, this all, this all a big stupid nigga who want to be brazy doing. This is this all the nigga doing. Nigga smile, he brazy. Y'all co-signing and he's sitting in the corner watching everything I'm doing just like this. I don't like this shit. I'm dropping down, them nigga. Man, nigga don't cop, man. Get in my inbox by no nigga telling on no nigga. That nigga honey come. Cause y'all listen to these rap niggas, man. Hey, get away, mm -hmm. start listening to me. I ain't tell you. All I like said. Cause get away, I might see that y'all ain't finna find. Oh shit. That nigga grandparents. Cause when I was watching, I was watching a video, a YouTube video. He put this shit in in one of his songs on bro. Oh God, I reacted to that shit. Okay. See, though, we ain't going for that. Y'all already doing too much position shit down now. Y'all got the street niggas ran. Y'all got the dope boys ran. You got the jank boys even telling on niggas. Now y'all want to get the rapper start telling too. Y'all going to fit up for me. The man accused of killing rapper it's Honeycomb Brazy's grandparents last year heading to a grand jury. Terrence Watkins, one of four people charged. As we've reported, Watkins had a dispute with another rapper, OMB Peasy, who was friends with Brazy. Investigators testified they have recorded conversations of Watkins talking about killing Brazy's grandparents, Tony and Layla Lewis. After being released from jail earlier than his fans had expected, Mobile, Alabama's very own Honeycomb Brazy been on a serious run, linking up with Birdman and dropping tracks almost every other day, all while going trending been top five run, each time so he dropped. The Honeycomb Brazy even dropped a track back in front of his grandparents' home where they was burned down and came to their demise, may they rest in peace. It was a hot felt song that paints a vivid picture like most of Honeycomb Brazy music do. It was a track titled Letter to God, released two weeks ago. That's the one, oh, bro, that's the video, oh God. We don't pull the SU course and it like we oh, live. I gotta ask, hey, how that hard. happened to my grandparents? But the real reason we here is because a couple days ago, Honeycomb Brazy went live and said the following. And this was sent to me a number of times. In regards to trying to find a story that's public about this situation and present it to the family, check it out. At all, never for him again in life. See what I'm saying? Like, I ain't on that, man. Like, bro, I'm really a real nigga, bro. And ain't nothing in the world gonna make me be fake, bro. I never switch up, like, on that same nigga. Like, real talk. I ain't switching up on no nigga. If I stop with a nigga, man, I ain't get what? Niggas just ain't right. Niggas ain't right. I, 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 I didn't kill nigga brothers, man. I didn't like, look, man. I didn't kill nigga brothers in real life, like, locked up for murder, kill nigga brother, and, and steal for his brother's brothers. You see what I'm saying? Like, this real life, this is my. I steal for the, I steal for, with the nigga brothers who brothers I killed. Like, we still hang around each other. I don't know you think they other brother don't even like me? He want to do something to me, but you think I be wrong with nigga brother brothers who I killed? Like they got the same daddy. If I sit someone and I run with them, you think they'll be wrong with me if I'm fake? Like now you killed our brother, we still fuck. nigga. I'm really a real nigga, bro. I'm really like that. I'm telling y'all, I'm really silent. Like I'm really silent in real life, bro. 
Like, real talk. Now, this ain't no wrong word for lie. This black and white. This, I caught this murder case. This in black. Hey, my boy. Uh, do you know something about the internet and screen recording? Because they got your ass. Why are you talking? Bro, what is going on, bro? Why are you talking about killing niggas' brothers and being cool with them still? Bro, what? Hi. Bro. Watch your ass. That's all I gotta say. My wife, you feel nigga kick the door in on me. And I had to handle my business. And I had got self-defense for it. I got self-defense for this shit. And you know, they what their war started by. They what they, all this shit really struck up by the war. They what they had a nigga grandma and granddaddy dead. But all this ass shit started like, yeah. But man, niggas brother still for me. Like I was folding boy, we see each other, we yeah. And like, you know, that what it is. But like, nigga living like that, bro. I've been thinking, bro, I'm God, nigga. I ain't no rap, nigga. Before. So over the last couple of days, I've been doing my research. I'm talking about looking at federal indictments, seeing how his grandparents got connected to his beef and who was arrested. Fam, I found out so much more. Even finding out the rapper he was beefing with did a video in front of Honeycomb Brazy grandparents' house before he was the one arrested for shooting it up and taking the life of his grandparents. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no ain't. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We gonna jump right to it. This man right here name is YSD Cafe. His real name is Terrence Watkins. He was the rapper who had beef in the city with Honeycomb Brazy back early on in his career. They all grew up together, all once hung out. But like Honeycomb Brazy say, he took the life of his brother in self-defense, which is more than likely how YSD Cap knew where Honeycomb Brazy grandparents had stayed. YSD Cap featuring another guy who ran with the circle, Johnny B, had dropped so a track that's title, why. Nat Brazy, Honeycomb Brazy Diss, four bro, years ago, with a little more than okay. 60,000 views and counting. Fam, in this video, you can see clips of Honeycomb Brazy grandfather father going inside of his house also you see clips of him peeking out while they doing a video in front of his home what the hell is going on fool bro what the fuck is going on say this now before we get bro, further in the what? video johnny b end up getting paralyzed from the waist down after he was hit up after honeycomb brazy grandparents had lost their life but as i mentioned he survived so it wasn't publicized and talked about much now wise decap went to live and talked about honeycomb brazy after he made that video and honeycomb brazy was still signed to rap a lot he tell they mom be telling him i don't know what you got into but these boys is not playing my mom like i'm so proud of you son they mama like boy you better sit your head down somewhere my mom was like, do that, son. Do that. Yeah, my mom was like, you need to sit your ass down, nigga, gonna kill you. My mom was like, do it, nigga. Boy, you, I, I raised the man. I'm telling you. This shit crazy. And this is uh, this is uh, this is all the big stupid nigga who wanna be brazy doing. This is this is all the nigga doing. Nigga smile, he brazy. And y'all co-signing that shit. And he's sitting in the corner watching everything I'm doing just like this. I don't like that. I'm dropping down, them nigga. Hey, let me tell the world they police. You tell him, boy. Um, he dropped down, I'm gonna drop some too. That one I'm gonna take him out and go go and drop some more. Cause they print them and give you that much money. <laughs> and if they get mad at you, you have to take them time off your neck, bro. Why you so watch. close, bro? Bag <laughs> up, bro. Bag up, bro. You too close, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> bag up. Jay Print got you in a little last part. Big wild in some bitch shit over there. What really going on? <laughs> he got out. My guy Alfred, man. Boy, ain't no way this nigga out of jail. Bruh, ain't no way this nigga out of jail right now. <laughs> There's no way. I got out for eyes and shit. Ain't nothing but a microwave, man. Mousing up in the hole. I know you wish you can go home with your Hey, bro. And you smacking. This nigga. make you some gingerbread, oh, I gotta take Now, he made that laugh Snap. after Honeycomb Brazy, mom Damn, house, was shot up one multiple thing I hate, times. Bro, nigga Thank smacking. God she don't live there. Now, this clown this was mocking the mom. 
a straight sucker for targeting women, a grandmother, and a grandfather. In this surveillance footage NBC 15 News obtained, you hear five shots fired on Clark Street at 2 in the morning. They came back. They keep shooting up your home. Mm-hmm, and I don't even live here because I had to leave because of that, but them fresh bullets. Tanisha Jones believes her home was the target. She wasn't home when the shots were fired, but had been at the home yesterday and believes people saw her there. They shot it up again. I can tell. I came here yesterday. And those weren't there yesterday? Not this glass, none of that. A family three doors down woke when two bullets came into their home overnight. They declined to talk on camera. Jones says this isn't the first time her home's been shot. And how many times do you think your home has been shot at? For sure, I know it's three, but now I know it's four times. Why do they keep targeting you? I don't know. That shit regularly going on in Mobile and Alabama, bro. That shit's crazy. Because they want my son, not Sean Jones, dead. Her son, Nashawn Jones, a local rapper, is also known as Honeycomb Brazy. He's currently in Metro Jail, accused of violating his probation. Yeah, he was arrested back in 2016 mama. on gun charges. Boy, they to in get February, Nashawn's grandparents, gone. Tanisha's parents, were killed in a mysterious shooting and fire. Mobile police can't confirm the overnight shooting is in any way connected to any other investigation. Now, Honeycomb Brazy talked about knowing these people, like Johnny B, in a track titled True Story. Slip in the side bed oh, with Johnny B funky little black. Yeah, yeah. But I told they brought up. So we gotta slow it down real quick, family. At this point, we know, as Honeycomb Brazy just said in that song, he took their brother out. Wise D Cap brother and the other five siblings. Wise D Cap, as well as the guy, the Honeycomb Brazy, life he took in self-defense was during South Hall's nephew. So now we know why they had a target against Honeycomb Brazy. But let's continue. Well, Wise D Cap didn't know. After that lie, shortly after, his right-hand man was about to tell on him. After YSD Cap Uncle Darren Southhall was arrested for being in control of a $24 million drug empire, the leader took a plea filed on 8-23-21 for 35 years in return Damn. his cooperation. Oh my God. That nigga got NBA points. Oh my God. That nigga got... <laughs> Hey, that nigga got 35 years, bro. What? Bro, and Darren Southall got everyone it, involved, including the females still got he had put his Rolls left. Royce name in. Now, that plea was only five months after they was indicted. They was indicted on 4-29-2021. Now, why is the cap right-hand man was in that indictment? But he turned into an informant. Jamarcus Chambers, a.k.a. Project Baby Juicehead. That's Project Baby to the right of the screen. In a picture with Rallo and No Cap. Project Baby Juice Head that went viral some years back with YSD Cap. They responded to a post that No Cap associate had made saying they had a DJ in Alabama turn off Lil Baby music in the club. YSD Cap and Project Baby Juice Head have responded with this video. I that woman by 4 p.m. man, 4 p.m. to the lab. Just like I told y'all nigga last night, when y'all see me in the club, the same club y'all was at, talking about y'all made them turn baby it out. Y'all did not do that when I was in there. Y'all did not. When y'all see me, nigga, I chop all of you niggas off. Nigga, I'm gonna be bad by my dad, bro. I think I remember this nigga, bro. Oh, God. I remember this nigga. Y'all niggas ain't saying shit when I chop y'all out. But I fucking told y'all niggas I'm gonna wait y'all get off that bitch. I'm gonna 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 get off that bitch. I'm
with honeycomb brazy grandparents coming to their demise project baby aka jamarcus he pled guilty to one count of information on that indictment and was just sentenced to five years in prison we'll later explain why but i want to make sure we stay on track wise d cap uncle during south hall had wise d cap and project baby juice head as his soldiers who operated trap houses now in that indictment, it stated that Darren Southall used to have as many as nine cell phones operating at once in his lap. And for most of those phone calls, they was recorded by the feds. Of course, as part of the leaders, Darren Southall cooperation for his 35 year plea, he admitted to those conversations. One of those conversations was wanting to take the life of Juicehead for a 9K debt. And that's how we know. On page five of Darren Southall's 15 page plea agreement. Now JC is Jamarcus Chambers aka project head juice baby in this indictment during the day investigators intercepted some phone calls between south hall and other conspirators which caused them to believe that south hall might be planning a retaliation bro, against co-conspirator jc for stealing nine thousand dollars of south hall's drug money from co-conspirator Bernicia Barrows. police interviewed with jc and confronted him at a shopping mall in mobile alabama jc was offered protection and he turned it down JC subsequently contacted South Hall in the call session, get this, and told him about the incident. Later that day, at 10.47 p.m. call session, South Hall told Watkins' his nephew he was trying to figure out some things after what happened to JC. South Hall reported to Watkins that the police approached JC at the mall and told him that he had stolen something from somebody and that his life might be in danger. South Hall said the police told JC that he needed to come with them because they could offer him protection. A couple sentences later, they also mentioned that South Hall told Watkins that police took JC to a room and asked if he wanted to be escorted out of Alabama because if he stayed, he might die. Now, during South Hall at first thought JC called the police, but then he realized he really made a threat on his life, so he left it alone. But the money was too large for him to stop talking on the phones. Now, after all that being accounted for, it was understood that Juicehead had took a five-year plea, a 5K1, in the case for being an informant. It was mainly for the information he gave authorities that didn't concern the case he was currently fighting. And this is how the feds found out about Honeycomb Brazy grandparents. Now fam, let's read the second paragraph on the first page of his 5K1. The defendant provided significant information on the lead conspirator implicated in the investigation these niggas be telling, boy. Hey, that's why, bro, if you ever do a crime, bro, do it by yourself, bro. Just do it by yourself, bro. Because niggas going to tell, bro, they see that time, boy. They going to get the... They going to get the teller. Which resulted in the defendant's okay. arrest. He agreed to plead guilty to the information in the instant matter, as we mentioned, and continued to provide information implicating numerous conspirators however while the defendant was awaiting to be sentenced in his case he was implicated in a contraband smuggling scheme at the facility where he was being held but check this out family the defendant was confronted by law enforcement officials and admitted his involvement in the scheme while this behavior constitutes a violation of the plea agreement the united states has weighed the significance of the information provided by the defendant against his bro, misconduct like, and has i feel like bro how is he getting all this? Bro, this shit is too federal, bro. Determine that How is some he all departure this? for substantial assistance is nevertheless appropriate under the circumstances included in the assistance was information related to a double homicide, which has been turned over to local authorities. Now, I can only assume that this was eaten. Project Baby Juice had alive while he was in jail because it seems he knew he was coming home. He only got five yeah. years, but he was the missing puzzle to connect what happened to Honeycomb Brazy grandparents. So he reached out to him via Instagram DM. And don't mind his grandma family. I'm gonna try my best to read around it. But Honeycomb Brazy had reposted the message. It stated, you know I would never went against you. I was just chasing that money. And you know I know how much you love your granny and grandpa. I wasn't with it. I ain't kill him, fool. It's a long story. I want to explain to you so you can see my side. It's all gonna come out though. I effed up my name too. Not to let them peas get away with what they did. <laughs> Hold up, man. Let's stop it there. He sent a cryptic message. The reason why he snitched is for them not to get away. That's cap. Let's continue. Them ends tried to. This nigga tried to apologize in the DM. Kill me. Oh, type of shit. It get real deep. I know you probably ain't got words for me, but I wasn't with that. I can show you and explain however it go. 
I still love you. Them use me. Cross my life out. Crazy. I just wanted the money. But you see, he didn't mention why they wanted to take his life. He stole 9K from Darren Southall. Honeycomb Brazy have responded. Get your PA out my inbox. <laughs> yeah, you used to be my dog. Granny and That Mr. nigga's sick, bro. Oh he both of us God. in that cell. I know you knew. Now at this point, everyone in that operation was trying to be the first to tell to get some time cut from the leader down. That made another person get arrested for the demise of Honeycomb Brazy's grandparents. And he provided even more gruesome details when even he testified in court being the last to be arrested. Debbie, new details today about the deaths of the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. Tony and Leela Lewis were killed 13 months ago after a shooting and fire at their home. One of the suspects, Patrick Lewis, was in yeah. court today. News 5's Nicolette Schleisman joins us live in the studio. And Nicolette, a lot of details came out today in court. Yeah, that's right, Peter. So detectives in this case gave testimony about audio recordings between several of the suspects reportedly planning the shooting, saying in court that the recordings are sickening. The phone recordings are reportedly between Terrence Watkins and Darren Southall, as well as Southall and Jamarcus Chambers. All three are suspects in the case. The fourth suspect, Patrick Lewis, is referenced many times. That's per Mobile Police. The state says Watkins, Lewis, and Chambers were the ones who went to the home on Dr. Thomas Avenue on February 17th, 2021, and started shooting. They say Southall was encouraging them to take action. His involvement is as um, what we call an aider and a better, which is that he was uh, helping uh, plan and organize and encouraging uh, the, the three individuals that were in the car. The state says this all began from a Facebook post from an associate of the couple's grandson, whose real name is Nashawn Jones. The state argues the post angered Watkins and he felt disrespected, so they hatched the plans and the home was a target because it would hurt Jones. Anyone in that house would have been a target of this attack. The Lewis family in court hearing many of the details they say they'd never heard. It was very gruesome. No one deserved, no one, not just because it was my family, but no one deserved to be treated like that. They had no remorse for human life at all. The state believes two people yeah, fired the shot. Yeah, that's shit. Lewis and Watkins, and they say Chambers was in the car. Mobile police say they have cell phone data that puts Lewis's phone in the area around the time of the shooting before it was turned off. But I'm not. Oh, what are you? These niggas are dumb. Bro, how you sliding with a damn phone, bro? You know it's 2020, bro, whatever year this happened, bro. It's the 2020s, bro. They got ping tower. They gonna ping your phone, nigga. That shit gone, bro. Don't take, bro. Come on, bro. What's going on? Sure, how that actually places him at the scene. Uh, they haven't placed the cell phone that was on the tower in his possession. The state says Ping the towers, shots food. caused a reaction starting the massive blaze that night, but no official cause of the fire has been determined. A likely scenario is that the Dang, gunfire bro. resulted in the explosion of an oxygen tank which in turn would have caused the explosion of other oxygen tanks in the house, which would lead to the fire. And the state also alleges the suspects went to several different car dealerships and bought a car in cash specifically for this crime. Lewis's case has been bound over to the grand jury. Live in the studio, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5. Now, I guess that's what Project Baby Juice had me when he said, Hank, but Holmes, you was in the vehicle. You just as guilty. Speaking of the grandparents, as we wrap this video up, a moment of silence for them and loving prayers to the family as we say Thanks. rest in peace once again. Fam, everybody in the group telling from the leader down, which led to more crimes being solved. Damn, bro. How everybody telling, bro? How the hell everybody telling? And all this that shit don't make no two sense. beautiful souls lost their life Literally. because a young man tried to ambush his way inside of a home that belonged to Honeycomb Brazy and lost his life in Literally, self fool. They, they trying to kill, bro, because Honeycomb did something to his brother on self-defense, bro. That shit crazy. Damn. This shit it's, sad, bro. Who happens to be the nephew of a ringleader of a $24 million drug empire. Fam, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this one in the comments. This shit is Don't forget crazy. to like and subscribe. And today, I'll catch you guys on the next one. For sure. <laughs> shit. That's the end of the video. This shit was long as hell. I'm not gonna lie. It's the longest video I got. I'm not probably. Nah. I did like an hour reaction to a fucking album.
a minute back. Anyway, <clears throat> make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the road to 1K. Come on. We 80 subs away. Please. All I ask is for you to hit the subscribe button. That is it. No cap. Y'all probably shit. Anyway, I'm out here. No cap.